Hello, I am Dr. Bikini, and this is Prison Architect. It is another um, early access alpha, beta, something or other. Been going for a while now. I played the shit out of this when it first came out. I really like this kind of stuff. Um, if you're into your Sim City, um, The Sims, you know, where you build your houses, roller coaster, type, any of those kind of things where you, you basically just build stuff and fuck around. Um, you're probably going to like this. Um, so I thought uh, thought we'd have a go at it. There's been a few updates that I haven't sort of played in a while, so I thought I'd have a look at it, and uh, let's have a look. So just starting a new game. Where are we? There we go. So just sort of basically, this is our plot of land. Going to build a prison. We don't want people to kill each other or fuck off. That's essentially it. we got... An hour, uh, 24 hours, got a day until our first dudes are going to show up. Now, um, what you do is up to you. You can make a really nice sort of utopian prison where everybody gets to educate themselves and come out wonderful model prisoners and basically go back into society. That's fine, and there are sort of... Um, sort of, I guess, incentives to do that, or you can just make a bloody shithole where there's one giant room with one toilet and 50,000 people in there, and they just all stab each other for fun. It's up to you. You can be as nice or as shitty as you want. Treat it as, like, a a nice game or a fucking asshole simulator. It's up to you. I sort of go the nice way. First thing I will show you, because a lot of people don't know, they're like, how the fuck do you do anything? You've got $30,000. You can't afford to do anything. First thing you need to do, go down into reports and grants. These are like sort of little mini missions, I guess, and um, select these, they'll give you money. See, there's one, basic detention centre, you build, hold and sell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen, have two guards, two chefs, bang, you get money. It'll give you ten th an advance payment of 20, 10 if you complete it. Select that, and you can have two, you can unlock having more later on, but um, you can only have two at the moment, so you just have the two. We're going to need to have an admin centre anyway so we will select that bam i there you are got some money so that's the, the first sort of thing to show you um now i'm going to sort of cheat a little bit in a minute and pause it but I'll, i'm going to lay the plan out but essentially um a after you play it for a while you'll know one of the main things on the game is sort of managing prisoner flow for want of a better word you don't want to have situations where you might have cells up here canteen down here prisoner visitation over here so they'll you know wake up in the morning they'll go down here to, you know and it takes them like three hours to get across them you sort of want to have have in mind that you know a, a flow prisoners are going to be down here they're going to go over here they're going to do something there and go just you know you, you want that shit sort of vaguely mapped out um i've played this a few times so i'm going to just pause it in a second and, and get the a rough sort of thing mapped out for the first bit just um in plan mode then we'll show you how it all builds and hopefully you'll get a bit of an idea as to, to why I've done what I've done the way I have. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll pause you for a second and um, we'll be back. And we're back. Now, as you can see, nothing's happened. Haven't hit unpause or anything. All I've done is drawn some lines. Basically, I've spaced stuff out because I know the room things need. Um, just to tell you what I've done down here in planning mode, you can sort of draw boxes stuff in these sort of little sort of ghost line things they're not anything other than it lets you to plan stuff out before you literally get in and build your walls now um we'll start it so we've got 24 hours till our first dude show up we've got a bunch of builders who are just going to rock up and start doing what we tell them to do first thing you'll want to do um and it's free a lot of people don't realize fences fences are free go go mad with them um, if you build brick walls, they're safer and everything, but they cost you a shitload of money. So really, don't bother with them. Just make sure that um, within whatever section you're building, like this is generally where we're going to be working. So as long as prisoners can't get out of a fence in this area, shit's going to be all right. Once you start to build over here, build another bit of fence, knock that off, sort of expand. But if you've always got some fences up, you don't need to worry that people are going to fuck off. Um, I'm going to need... Bit of fence down there. See, I've actually made a mistake already. Get rid of that. And 
put it there. Whoops, no, no, no. Right, so did I build that bit of fence or have I queued it up? Yes, I have. So basically, you can go ahead and build as much as you want. Your workers will just sort of go ahead and do what they can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build a couple more because I'll oh, hire a couple more just early on because it just helps get shit underway. You can always go ahead and sack them um, from there. So they're going to come along, build that fence. This is just sort of getting our perimeter over. I'm not filling this in because essentially other stuff's going there. Again, I, I sort of know what I'm doing. Hopefully you'll see, I'll get a bit of an idea um, as to why I'm doing what I'm doing, but you'll build your own shit your own way. Um, I will need more fences along this line. And just there. And that, whilst we're here, is going to be our jail door so there's different types of doors or well, this is basically all the stuff but there's different types of doors there's jail doors there's staff doors there's plain old doors depending on what type of door you've got different things will happen like a jail door nobody can come in and out of a jail door unless a guard opens it um, staff door only staffs can go through um, normal doors anyone can go through prisoners or whatever so obviously you don't want just a plain old door in your front because your prisoners will just walk the fuck out um, you kind of don't necessarily want staff doors where there's going to be a lot of staff, say like a kitchen, that prisoners can get to because they can follow somebody out. So if they follow a cook out, out of staff door, and then there's nothing between them and just walking out the door, off they'll go. So you just sort of got to keep that in mind as far as the type of doors and, and where shit's going to be. Now over here, these are our sort of mini missions um basic detention center and admin and admin center build two offices we are going to need those so we will do that now i'll plonk these down here this is almost like a perfect little hole for offices i reckon um i'm going to put that there probably best to get in the habit of putting a door in right at the start of the planning sort of bit because sometimes you'll find that the workmen they won't go in there or build. They go, I can't get in there. I can't do it unless there's a door. And they just won't flat out do it. So just stick it in at the start. You can see when you're actually building your rooms, there are sort of size conditions. Your office... Um, where is it? I can never bloody see the office. Far out. Literally. Anyway, for example, staff room. Minimum size 4x4. Four four. So you can see that... Um, different rooms are going to have different sort of conditions that that they need sort of size wise some rooms have to be indoors some have to be out all that kind of stuff there we go i am actually going to need a wall there as well thanks buddies if you can get on with that that'd be that'd be swell so they've built that bit of a wall for us um There you go. So as you can see, that's the size and the shit you need for an office. So I'm going to designate that as an office and that as an office. Now, it's not usable. You can see it's got that little jobby there and I'll go, no, nah, you don't have a desk, you don't have a chair, you don't have a filing cabinet. Can't have that as an office. So we will go in and we will sort that out. Chair. One chair there for that one and one chair there for you. A desk. Now, as you can see, they do have a front and a back. I don't really know whether it matters if you put them sort of the wrong way around, but you're going to build an office door properly, so we'll make sure that's facing the right way. You can have yours facing that way, and you need a filing cabinet. Yours can go there, and you can have yours in that corner. And just because I'm a nice bloke, you just can have some windows. Also because there ain't going to be any prisoners down here, unless we fuck up. So they'll come along, they'll lug all this shit in, then that'll be happy that it's an office. Now we're going to need a holding cell because as soon as the prisoner's going to come in, they're going to need somewhere to go. If there's nowhere for him to go, shit's going to hit the fan. So designating this as a holding cell. Technically, um, a holding cell is all you need. Like You can just have a big room and people will just come pouring into that and they'll just forever live in there they won't be happy they'll stab each other there'll be death there'll be blood but 
that's like I said, if you want to create a hellhole prison, you can do that. Stick 50 people in a tiny room in one toilet and just have a bloody laugh. Um, ideally, you'll build individual cells. They'll come in. They'll sort of sit in there to start with until there's cells for them. Once there's an empty cell, they'll go into there. So, they'll build that. They're both officers. Now you can see hire a warden and hire an accountant are two of the conditions for that one. So we'll go now that we've got an office, we'll hire a warden and plonk him in there. That's now his office. Now we've got a warden. If you click in bureaucracy, he can research shit. So the see, we need him to research finance because unless we've got finance, we can't have the accountant. And there's all this other stuff, obviously. So we'll set him to research finance. I'll take him six hours. He can just get on with that whilst we're uh, doing our thing. So this is going to be a holding cell. This is going to be our shower. So I'm going to build a second sort of little add-on bit there. And give it a door just so that I can get in there and it makes it happy. Hopefully... Um, Really what I want to do is here is basically just have as this little add-on. There's basically a wall with some showers. There's going to be a drain there and that's it. Um, and then we can actually just get rid of this wall. Sometimes when you tackle a, a room onto an existing room like this, if you do it without sort of building it separately and bugging a door in, it won't recognise it as a room. It goes, no, nah, that's just an extension to this room. It's not it's a separate shower. Um, so that that's kind of why I do it. Now, if I... I'll just pause this and we'll see. So, for example, I'll go in and say holding cell. We're going to designate this as our holding cell. Now it's happy. Obviously, we, we don't have a toilet or whatever, but that's going to be that. Um, and we need shower. So this is going to be a shower. Cool. You c kind of don't want them like that because... Um, Prisoners in a shower behind a closed door, unless you've got a guard in there, they're going to like kick each other's heads in. You sort of don't really want that. Um, if it will let me, um, I will now get rid of that. Get rid of that. So I'm just knocking those walls down and tell you to take that door away as well. Might be very dignified that anybody sitting in the holding cell can just watch people over here having a shower, but you know, it's prison, you know, going to make it nice, but fuck, who cares? You killed a dude, somebody's going to watch a shower, that's just how it goes. Now, all our workmen are just chilling, there's not a whole lot going on, so I'm going to get them to. Um, the other thing we're going to need right at the start is our power and our water. Now, they do give you some free stuff. They give us one power station. I'm going to plonk that there. I'm going to leave a slight gap there. You'll see why in a minute. And a water station or a water pump there. So you can go about that. I do want that fenced off because that's not the kind of stuff you want prisoners being able to get to because they will get in there and fuck with it. So I'm just going to build a, a fence around that. Um, actually... I'll put the door in here. I want a staff only door because we want our workers to get there but we don't want our um, prisoners there. So you slackers over there, go build that shit. So it's not happy that that's a shower because it needs a shower head. Okay, no worries. And I will... Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will let me extend our holding cell into that little bit of gap. Now, showers. Showers need shower heads. Boom, 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 boom. And whilst they don't need them, drain, 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 drain. Um, if you don't put drains in, they'll turn the showers on. Water's just going to go everywhere. If you don't care, if you're making a hellhole and you don't care that everybody's going to be sitting in a stinky pool of shower water, don't bother. Your prisoners will be pretty cranky, but um, whatever. It's up to you. Um, what else do we need here? Mm. See, this is... I'll just pause that. That's happy as a shower. This is not happy as a holding cell because we failed that 
surrounded by walls and doors. Um, so it isn't going to let us, like I thought it might let us get away with by taking that wall down. So I will jump back in, build a wall there, build a wall there, put that door back. There's just a few little bits like that that are a little bit buggy. And like I said, sometimes your, uh, your workers won't be able to get to where they're going because, I don't know, sometimes I don't know. Um, still a few sort of buggy things in that because it is still a, an early access. It, it's better than it was, but um, I guess just keep that sort of shit in mind. There's some, some strange stuff going on like that. Um, the final thing we need to be ready is one giant fuck off big room, which I will do like that. I will put staff door in up there. And that should be all right. I'll get, get rid of that tree. Go away. Dump. Or dismantle. So, oh, see? See how we didn't build a fence there? If we went and opened that up, they'd just fuck off. So I will put a fence in down there as well. And then we know that when our prisoners show up, we mightn't have everything ready and working, and they mightn't have everything they need, and we mightn't have all these conditions met, but at least they won't be able to piss off. Um, the final thing I'll sort of show you is the, the sort of underground view, I guess. Um, any shit you build, sinks, fridges, whatever, are going to come with a little bar out like that. Got to link it up to power. Um, each room needs to have a bit into it like that. As long as you're in the room, then that's generally enough power-wise. Um, it, it's kind of got a range, it comes out like six or eight, so you might need to build a couple of these kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Um, like one there, you might need one down here kind of thing. Because um, it does have a range, you can find that all this will be powered, but there's a bit up in the back corner that's not quite. Um, but uh, generally it's just like, as long as you've got power sorted to where you're going, that's enough, except for specific appliances. Water's a little bit different, there are large pipes and small pipes. Um, large pipes are essentially sort of like our power thing, but you don't really want those running through prison cells because prisoners will dig tunnels, they will get into large pipes and they will fuck off. So you kind of want a general big pipe running in areas that are hard for prisoners to get to with then small pipes coming off to, say for example, all these shower heads. So you have all those small, no one's going to be able to get out of those coming out to there. Then you might have a large pipe that runs down here. Because this is going to be outside, there's going to be garden stuff. Um, your prisoners aren't going to like be, you know, digging holes into your uh, your pipes there. So that's that. I will do a brick wall down here for reasons you will see soon. And staff door there, and a staff door there. That's going to be our kitchen. This is going to be our canteen. Got our holding cell. Which it still doesn't count as enclosed, and I think the reason for that might be uh, holding cell. There we go. Um, I hadn't undesignated that little bit in the doorway as a holding cell, so it was not counted as closed. Now it is. Like I said, just a few weird little buggy glitchy things here and there, but. Um, Again, you'll, 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 you'll work those out and you'll, you'll figure out how to avoid them. So we've kind of got everything almost to where we need to be. There's one thing I just realised I haven't done. Our generator, if you'll see, there's one red bar. The more sort of stuff you put in that uses power, the more that'll fill up. When it fills, the power will go off. Um, you'll have riots. Prisoners will kill each other. People will get shanked. He says there's a cop car roars past outside. Don't know whether you can hear that. Um, yeah, you don't want that to happen. You increase the amount of things you can have with these capacitors. Now, it's given us one free one. I'm going to plonk that there. I'm pretty sure they only work if they touch, which is why I've left this gap around it. Now, if I go boom, you'll suddenly see when they actually install that, that there will be two bits. Um, and the bottom bit will be half red, and the top bit will be sort of vacant. So that gives us um, room for power. And the more you need, the more capacitors you stick on, and um, that's how you you make sure you don't have a dark hellhole shanking sort of, I don't know, 
What was that thing? Um, uh, you know, the HBO one with the dude in the wheelchair? Um, I, I can remember. The prison was Oz. Um, Jesus, I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, you know, they used to get in there. Everybody shank each other just for shits and giggles. Um, so we're kind of ready. Um, he's done his research. You can see um, he's just chilling now. So he's researched um, accounting. So we can now go and hire an accountant, plonk her in here, and you will see over on the left, administration centre. That'll be happy. <coughs> accountant hired. And that um, condition's been met. So that's that. Then you can go in here and you can choose another um, another grant for another sort of, I guess, mini mission. Um, just because I know sort of that, for example, those long-term and short-term investment, they're kind of things you do when you run out of things to do. Um, these two you kind of need um, to be deeper into the game. There's other stuff you need to research first. So leave them for now. We'll go health and wellbeing. We are going to need a, a, a medical wall eventually. So we'll do that. We'll get a bit more money. And um, we're kind of, kind of about ready. The last little thing I'll do um, or explain just before I end it here, before our prisoners come in. Actually, see now, see how there's two sort of, there's that bit and that bit. That's the capacitor, so that gives us a whole sort of doubles our power essentially. Um, materials paths. You can go. See how these um, outdoor only walking speed fast. I'll plonk a whole bunch of that down here. This is sort of our main entrance. Everybody's going to be coming in here and you kind of want them to be going to wherever they're going as quick as they can. The less time they spend wandering around, the quicker they're, they're going to do whatever it is, whether it's prisoners getting to their cells, people bringing deliveries in, whatever. So you can do that. Um, there might be other areas, say like the outdoor yard, where you want prisoners to be able to move around, but not necessarily quickly. That's where you might go, say, gravel. It's outdoor, but it's slow. Um... So there are sort of things like that. Uh, and I've just realised I've left a gaping hole here, which wouldn't have been very good. So I will plug that gap with a bit of fence. And I'll do one final check. So there'll be fence there. That's all fenced. That's fenced. That's fenced. No one can fuck off. Are you going to build that... And done. So I think we'll uh, we'll call it a day here. I'll, I'll save this up. Actually, I'll save it now. You probably want to get in the habit of um, saving it every now and then because, like I said, it is um, still a little bit buggy. Now I will call you. Yes, we'll call, we'll call it Cupcake Land because that sounds like the kind of prison we want. We want it to be full of pink icing and glitters and fairies and if anyone's going to get shanked they're going to get shanked with hello kitty knives and they're going to bleed rainbows so yep there we go we're about sort of as ready as we're going to be there's a few more things we need to do before our ship people show up in eight hours i'll just pause that now and uh that's that's getting resin getting ready for your prison and i think next time we'll get our prisoners in and uh just see how they go and uh what we need to do from there so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you later